deeper details tonight about how the Louisville metro area will spend its part of the massive settlement with drug companies for their role in the opioid epidemic. The metro is set to receive $30 million over the next 18 years. WLKY's Drew Gardner is live in the newsroom with a breakdown. Drew? Well, Vicki, that $30 million is part of a $26 billion settlement between four corporations and cities and states all across the country. The funds will now be used to help prevent more deaths and to prevent others from going down the path of addiction. Five years ago, the Louisville Metro government became one of the first cities to join in on litigation to hold drug companies and distributors accountable for business practices that helped lead to the nationwide opioid epidemic. Opioid addiction has touched all our lives in some fashion. If it's not in your family, it's on the street corner. Johnson & Johnson, along with three other pharmaceutical companies, agreed to pay out $26 billion, becoming the second largest multi-state agreement in U.S. history. It is one of uh, Mike O'Connell's proudest accomplishments of his time as a Jefferson County attorney. And um, we're very proud of the money, uh, the revenue that it'll bring to Louisville Metro government over the next 18 years. Louisville's total settlement adds up to $31.8 million. The first two payments are expected by the end of the year and total about $3.5 million. The remaining yearly payments will be around $1.5 million and will decrease slightly each year. There's a list of about 15 pages of uh, approved uses, but they primarily go into categories of treatment and prevention. The Louisville Metro Department of Public Health and Wellness, along with several other agencies and community members, have outlined a proposal for where the first payments should be spent. Roughly $2.6 million will go to promoting long-term recovery by expanding access to treatment. $744,000 will go to saving lives by expanding access to naloxone and overdose prevention education. The remaining $134,000 will go to supporting transformative change by addressing the underlying root causes of addiction. Now you can view a full breakdown of this funding proposal inside the story on our website and free mobile app. Once it is finalized, it will be brought back to the council for a vote. So when the first round of funds arrives, it can be immediately put into use. Live in the newsroom tonight, Drew Gardner, WLKY News. Thank you, Drew.